On this National Equal Pay Day, California First Partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom is bringing attention to the gender pay gap as she continues to spearhead efforts to close the disparity. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Eric Harriman is off tonight. Fox 40 Capital reporter Aton Wallace spoke one on one with Siebel Newsom just after she announced major cities across the state have signed on to her equal pay pledge. Well, take a look at all of these major companies that have signed on to the First Partners Equal Pay Pledge to close the pay gap. Today, Jennifer Siebel Newsom announced some of the state's largest cities have officially signed on as well, something she says will get California that much closer to equity for all. Applause today from California First Partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom as she and pay equity advocates announced the cities of San Francisco, Oakland, Fresno, Long Beach, Los Angeles and San Diego have signed on to her equal pay pledge. The end goal is to close the pay gap in California and ensure equity for all. During an exclusive one on one interview with us, Siebel Newsom made clear the pay pledge announcement from those six cities on this day, National Equal Pay Day, is not a coincidence, but is a vital step in a state where, as of 2022, on average, California women earned 88 cents for every dollar a man earned. I have tremendous empathy, and especially I have empathy for mothers and for women of color because that pay gap is much wider for us. Siebel Newsom first launched the Equal Pay Pledge Initiative with the California Commission on the Status of Women and Girls and the California Labor and Workforce Development Agency in 2019. In addition to the six cities who just signed on to the pledge, so too have 111 companies over the last four years, including some of California's largest employers like Airbnb, eBay, Apple, and Adobe. In signing, they commit to annual pay analyses, a review of best equity practices, and a careful look at hiring and promotion procedures. It's good for business. It's better for everyone. We know that there's a win-win when we pay women equitably. In California, we're losing $87 billion a year to the pay gap. But as for how to ensure companies keep their word, what is being done to ensure that when they sign this pledge, they keep this pledge? Oh, well, it's a great question. I mean, just the fact that they've done this is the first step, and it's actually quite impressive because it's a signal to other companies that they should follow suit. She says that in itself is a great way to ensure accountability. But Siebel Newsom also points out separately the state already has some of the strictest employment equity laws on the books requiring employers to pay people equally for equal work and mandating that they post pay scale information for openings. But as for the equal pay pledge, companies who have signed on say it has made a difference. Case in point. I'm proud to share that Adobe has achieved global gender pay parity for the fifth year in a row. We have to close that pay gap, um, one company and one government institution at a time. And Siebel Newsom says efforts are always underway to urge more companies and governments to sign the pledge. Reporting at the state capitol covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News. Official